Hello and welcome to a short video about the biggest new features in Layouts version 1.9. I have a page in my site and I already have a simple layout created specifically for it. It features a header, the content area that outputs the title and body, and some images specific to this page alone. Now, I want to show you how Layouts allows to separate the content part that is specific for this page only from the rest of the design that can also be used as a template for displaying all of the pages in my site. Let's see how to do this. First, I duplicate the layout used for my page and then edit that duplicate. Let's rename it to Template for Pages. Then, we need to remove all the cells specific to this page. In this case, I will remove the Visual Editor cell with the Post Body shortcut and the three image cells at the bottom. Now, we need to insert a cell that will output the contents of the page. For this, we use a cell called the Content. It will literally only output the main body content of the page. When this is done, I only need to apply this template layout to all pages in my site. And as you can see, when I look at any page in my site, it uses this template layout. Let's go back to the page about my dog. It now uses the template for all the pages, but we can use layouts, just like any other page builder, to create a specific content only for this page. Click the Content Layout Editor button and you are taken to a layout editing page. But as you can see, it looks much simpler. This is because you are now editing a content layout which will only be used for this specific page. It will not even be listed on the regular layouts listing page. As you can see, you start with a single Visual Editor cell that holds the contents of your page. If we edit that row's options, we can see that it uses the row type of cells extend to the full width. It is best to use this row type for all rows in a content layout. This way, the contents of your rows will use the proper width on the front end. Now, I will add something simple and nice that will only be used for my page about my dog. I add another row and select the suggested row type for it. Then, I will add a tab cell and create two tabs. One tab with some overview information about my dog and the other with the images of him. Now, on the front end it looks like this. Nice! And this brings us to the other important new feature. Layout's front-end editing mode. To use this feature, simply click the front-end layout editor button in the admin bar when viewing any page. Now, we can see how our page looks like on the front end and also edit it. Important thing to note is that one part of this page is rendered using the template layout used for all pages in the site. But the contents in the middle are coming from our content layout which we designed specifically for this page only. In the front editing mode, you can hover any layout element and edit it. To do this, click the pen button for that part of the content. As you can see, a standard cell editing dialog pops up and allows you to change the contents of that particular cell. After applying, the front end is automatically refreshed with all the changes. Layout's front end editor has another important feature. It allows you to see where a specific element is positioned inside your layout structure. This helps you to know exactly what and where you are editing. To see this in action, simply click the wrench icon for any cell on the page. A dialog box appears with the information about this cell. This list tells us where the element is positioned. In the case of my content cell, it is positioned in the layout called Template for Pages. I can also see that the actual content is naturally coming from the page called About My Dog. You can also click any element in this list to edit it directly. For example, if I click the row called Row 2, a dialog box with its options appears. Final thing to note 
is the button called Edit Layout on the Backend. It allows you to easily switch to backend editing and lists both the template layout and the content one. Thank you for watching.